good morning and it is morning and it is New Year's Day morning and cameraman and I wanted to just have a little chat with you that was not in the kitchen. We started this channel one year ago and it's really pretty gutsy because we knew nothing and still know very little about YouTube, had no idea what Instagram was, TikTok way beyond our comprehension. Um, I, I have a birthday coming up. I'm going to be 80 years old. So for our generation, we are light years away from what these kids know. So for us to have a conversation and say, what do you think about us doing that? And he says, not a bad idea. I pull out a pot and pan, he picks up a camera, and that's how we started. <laughs> if you saw our first video, which was about baking bread, artesian bread, if you saw that first video, we look back at it now and we go, oh, dear Lord. But you know, all the way along, we learned. We really learned. But what we learned most was how excited we were when you joined us. That was beyond excitement. When we first started, we did our first video. We got up the next morning, and we looked, of course, no, nobody looked at it. Nobody knew we were there. And then within a couple of weeks, we had somebody actually look at the video. We were so excited. And then somebody subscribed. Oh, my word. Somebody actually subscribed. And then it continued to grow. If you could see us in the morning, you would giggle because the first thing out of cameraman's mouth is, how did we do yesterday? I don't know. I log on. Oh my gosh, we are now up to 212. 210? 210 or 212 subscribers and our views are almost 14,000. So <clears throat> all I can say to you, and cameraman is right there with me, we thank you. We thank you for coming. We thank you for staying. I especially thank you for being very kind to me through the, to the mistakes like the end of the cherry pie. If you didn't see that one, that was a mortal mess. And uh, oh, the turkey uh, the breast was not very good either. But we've had fun along the way. We have laughed. We, we did a whole video, a long one, and realized we weren't recording. We did another one, again, a long one. Cameraman had pushed slow motion, so my ducks were like that. We had to scrap them. Oh, dear Lord, we had so many of those things that you guys never saw, but you hung with us, and we have had fun with it. Now, this year has had its ups, it's had its downs, it really has. Cameraman, I think I have mentioned a few times that he has not been well. Well, cameraman has stage four cancer. He has colon cancer, which uh, metastasized to his liver, to his lungs. He has a um, couple of very serious tumors that have just developed in his neck. So he is not well, but boy, I will tell you, he is a trooper. Every day he's up doing this, and you've seen the little clips of, of our garden. He's out there watering and weeding, and just tries everything he can to keep himself up and going. He had a year of chemo. He has been off chemo for about four months now. He'll be starting again very soon. <clears throat> so it has been very, very difficult. But I will tell you, if there's a man that can come through this with humor, with grace, with dignity, that's cameraman. I've asked him so many times to get in front of the camera, but... He's uh, just not able to do that. He doesn't look like the, like the Chuck he always knew to be. So I respect that. But I do want to thank you, and he does as well, for your prayers. We've had so many of you just um, willing to step in and just say we know what you're going through. Cameraman said today to me, and it was really important, he said if you talk to them, tell them to get a colonoscopy. That's all it takes, you guys, just a colonoscopy, and you can save a life, yours or your husband's, 
I think women are much better at having things like that done, men not quite so good. So if you can encourage your adult children, yourself, your spouse, whoever it might be, your partner, to be sure and take good care of their health because it's most important. Now, <clears throat> looking into the future, we look at it as being bright and being hopeful, and we know that there's good things coming. We really do. We wish for each and every one of you to have the best year possible. Hopefully, this COVID thing will just go away finally and let everybody get back to normal and not feel at risk for your health and your children's health. Hopefully, we will all be able to be just out and enjoying our life the way we should be enjoying it. So with that being said, I want to toast to you a New Year's toast, but, <laughs> but because it is early morning, this is not wine or champagne. Trust me, it is apple juice. So saying goodbye to 2021, I think I'm quite happy to release that year and really welcome 2022. So cameraman and I want to wish you the most blessed year of your life to where there is prosperity and good health and success and that you are totally surrounded by love. Now I'm going to cheer and wish you a happy, happy 2022. So many blessings to you. Continue to join us. We're going to have a full and fun year. Thank you. And thank you for always. Bye. Cheers.